Hello, welcome back to My World 67. This is G-Man. Um, just uh, another in the uh, series here. Uh, working, still working on these Cape Canaveral Marks four-wheel cars. Um, I just finish them up uh, to the point is for the repairs. I This car really didn't need uh, much of anything except uh, we had to repair the coupler on it and we uh, replaced the flange on the coupler uh, the end on the coupler and got it going works great a nice strong repair a nice strong coupler um, pulled just about anything um, and uh, didn't know it I missed it somehow, but this uh, wheel flange was broken on one corner, and so we had to replace that wheel flange on one, one corner. Now, I was out of uh, wheel flanges from uh, any other type of toy. I could have taken one off of this Burlington, uh, but I didn't want to destroy this car as I might add it to this set just for operational purposes. Even though it's not a Marks, it'll uh, hook up at a couple. And it's from one of those old battery operated sets, but it is old gauge. And uh, it'll work. So, uh, it's out of plastic flanges, so I made one. I don't know whether you can see that or not. And this is made out of styrene plastic. I had a. Uh, long handled plastic spoon and I cut the end off of it, shaped it, uh, it was already rounded and put it up, glued it uh, in place and then uh, took styrene and built these details as best I could. Looks pretty good and it'll work. Keeps it from being lopsided, no longer missing. We'll paint that. We have a similar blue paint we can paint that with. And um, ready to go. The rocket launcher. Um, remember we had these uh, stanchions were broke off. There were three of them. Um, we drilled the holes down into the base, put in these pins, uh, which are actually just little finishing nails, small finishing nails, and uh, cut them off at the proper height. And then we took uh, the glue and covered them. And that will give them a plastic-like texture and when we paint them um, they'll look very similar to the originals. Now um, is it original? No. Uh, but it makes it serviceable and gets it going again. Now keep in mind uh, all of these were junk cars. This one was missing a wheel flange. We replaced the wheel flange. Solid repair. And we'll be painting it um, tomorrow or the next day. And it'll be done also. The caboose. Uh, on the other day we put the smokestack in place. I took a little black paint, painted the top of the smokestack, give it a little detail. Mark's cars are these little four-wheel cars. Uh, got a lot of detail as far as rivets and stuff like that is concerned. Lettering. But... Um, they don't have much colored variation and so we just painted that and kind of gives it a little detail makes it look nice we might change it and paint it silver um, but as you remember the only thing that was wrong with this car was it needed wheels and it had this corner was broken off now we've got that corner replaced And a 
show you uh, the repair. There's the brace in under it. And this piece was taken off of a, actually a Lionel caboose. I cut the corner off of one because I didn't have another old Mark's caboose to use at the time. So this detail here is similar to the Mark's detail, which is actually smaller, not as full. It has six and the Mark's has five. But it works. It's repaired, the roof's done, and it's ready to roll. This rocket fuel car was the worst probably out of all of them. It was missing two wheel flanges. I replaced both of those. Uh, it had a brake in the rail. Repaired that, no longer breaking the rail, uh, and it's missing couplers. Now this color of paint is going to be really hard uh, to reproduce because this was probably actually whiter, a little whiter once, and it's kind of an antique white now. And uh, so what I've done is. I've taken uh, some white, a little bit of brown, covered them because they were green. And uh, you can see a little green right there. And got them ready to repaint. And we'll repaint them uh, probably with an ivory or something like that. It'll be close. It won't be an exact match. But it'll look pretty good once it's back up and going. Um, and we'll put some couplers on it some knuckle couplers and uh, I've only got one right now and we'll probably replace this rail this bar that goes across here uh, to hold the coupler up but we're gonna do that at a later date uh, we're not gonna do that in this video and we're not gonna complete that at this time I found that I've got uh, two more of these in really good condition uh, and I'll use those uh, with this set All right, that's it for now, uh, G-Man, and have a blessed evening, and thank you for watching.